Who are the Slovaks, really? Nestled in the very heart of Europe, Slovakia often goes unnoticed on the world stage. But beneath its scenic mountains and medieval castles lies a fascinating genetic story, one that defies expectations and rewrites history books. For centuries, Slovaks have been seen as a homogeneous Slavic nation. However, scientists now reveal a much deeper, more surprising genetic past, one shaped by Ice Age survivors, ancient farmers, steppe warriors, and forgotten kingdoms. Today's Slovaks are the result of tens of thousands of years of migration, settlement, and mixing. DNA doesn't lie. It speaks across time, telling tales of resilience, conquest, and survival. From prehistoric tribes who hunted mammoths along the Danube River to medieval settlers carving out farms in hidden valleys, Slovakia has always been a crossroads of civilizations. Recent genetic studies have cracked open new layers of this ancient mystery. Evidence points to unexpected genetic links connecting Slovaks to distant regions, some as far as the Middle East, Central Asia, and even the Caucasus. How did these connections form? What forgotten migrations shaped this landlocked nation? As we peel back the layers of Slovakia's genetic story, you'll discover how waves of settlers, from early Indo-European speakers to medieval German colonists, left lasting imprints in the DNA of the Slovak people. You'll also learn about hidden populations, Roma, Jews, and others, who quietly contributed to Slovakia's complex genetic puzzle. This isn't just a story of science. It's a story of identity, belonging, and history itself. Prepare to be surprised, because the genetic origins of the Slovaks are far more mysterious and more fascinating than anyone ever imagined. Long before the Slovak nation existed, the land we now call Slovakia was home to some of Europe's earliest inhabitants. The story begins in the depths of the last ice age, around 30,000 to 10,000 years ago. During this frigid era, small bands of hunter-gatherers roamed the valleys and caves of Central Europe, including the region of modern-day Slovakia. Archaeological sites, such as those in Bajnis and Moravini, reveal evidence of Paleolithic cultures, toolmakers, mammoth hunters, and skilled artists leaving behind mysterious Venus figurines. Genetic studies show that these early inhabitants carried mitochondrial DNA lineages known as U5 and U2, some of the oldest in Europe. These haplogroups trace back to Ice Age refuges, areas where humans survived during glacial extremes, such as the Balkans and parts of southern Europe. Slovakia was at the crossroads of these refuges, acting as both a haven and a migration route for ancient populations moving northward after the ice receded. Around 8,000 years ago, everything changed. The Neolithic Revolution reached Central Europe as farming technologies spread from Anatolia, modern Turkey, through the Balkans and up the Danube River. Early farmers belonging to the Y haplogroup G2A arrived in Slovakia, bringing with them domesticated plants, animals, pottery, and entirely new ways of life. These early agriculturalists intermingled with the local hunter-gatherer groups, resulting in the first major genetic blending in the region. Genetic markers from these Neolithic farmers remain detectable in modern Slovaks, especially in the mitochondrial haplogroups H and T, which are common across Europe today, but have deep roots in these ancient agricultural migrations. Later, during the Copper and Bronze Ages, the Carpathian Basin, including Slovakia, saw the rise of metalworking cultures, such as the Baden and Bell Beaker complexes. These groups introduced new technologies, burial practices, and genetic components, adding further complexity to the Slovak genetic heritage. Modern Slovak DNA retains traces of these prehistoric events, reflecting both deep continuity and surprising change. Today, scientists can identify genetic signatures from Ice Age hunter-gatherers, Anatolian farmers, and early European metalworkers all within the Slovak population proof that this small nation has always been at the heart of major European migrations. After the Neolithic and Bronze Ages, a monumental shift began to reshape the genetic and cultural landscape of Slovakia and much of Europe, the Indo-European migrations. Around 5,000 years ago, people from the Pontic Caspian Steppe, located north of the Black Sea, began moving westward. These migrants are often linked to the Amnea culture, 
famous for their domestication of horses, use of wheeled vehicles, and advanced metallurgy. Genetically, these people carried the Y haplogroup R1b and R1a, with R1a being especially relevant for Eastern and Central Europe. Their arrival didn't simply replace earlier populations. Rather, they gradually mixed with existing groups of farmers and hunter-gatherers, creating new societies with blended ancestry. Archaeological evidence shows that the Carpathian Basin, including parts of Slovakia, became a major center for this fusion. The Indo-European migrations also brought early Indo-European languages, which would eventually evolve into the many branches we recognize today, including Slavic, Celtic, and Germanic languages. In Slovakia, the Slavic roots are particularly significant. By the 5th and 6th centuries CE, Slavic tribes began to expand into Central Europe, including present-day Slovakia. These early Slavs were agriculturalists and likely spoke a dialect of Proto-Slavic, the ancestor of modern Slovak and related languages. Genetic studies reveal that modern Slovaks carry a high proportion of our 1A haplogroup, tracing directly back to these early Slavic settlers. Additionally, mitochondrial DNA evidence shows female-mediated continuity from earlier populations, suggesting that Slavic migrations involved both men and women settle in the region rather than just male warriors or invaders. Today, the Slovak gene pool reflects this layered history, an intricate blend of prehistoric settlers, steppe pastoralists, and Slavic farmers, forming the foundation of Slovakia's modern population. During the early medieval period, the territory of modern-day Slovakia became a political and cultural crossroads, further shaping the genetic legacy of its people. One of the most important early states in this region was Great Moravia, established in the 9th century. Stretching across parts of present-day Slovakia, Czechia, Hungary, and beyond, Great Moravia became a center of Slavic culture, trade, and Christianity. The founding of Great Moravia not only marked a political turning point, but also introduced new cultural and genetic influences. As Slavic tribes consolidated under local rulers, they attracted artisans, merchants, and clergy from neighboring regions, including the Byzantine Empire and the Frankish realms. The arrival of Cyril and Methodius, Byzantine missionaries who created the Glagolitic script, reinforced these connections. Their mission also brought Eastern Mediterranean influences through religious and scholarly contacts. During this time, the gene pool of the local population began to reflect a more diverse heritage. While the Slavic genetic core remained strong, interactions with Germanic-speaking groups to the west and south began leaving their imprint. Additionally, Magyar Hungarian. Incursions toward the end of the 9th century introduced steppe-related ancestry from the east although this influence was stronger in Hungary than in Slovakia. The fragmentation of Great Moravia and the rise of the Kingdom of Hungary in the 11th century brought another layer of integration. Over time, the Slovak lands became part of a multicultural kingdom that included Germans, Hungarians, Vlachs, Romanians, and Jews. Some settlements welcomed German-speaking miners and merchants, whose descendants still show minor genetic footprints in Slovak DNA today. Thus, the medieval era deepened Slovakia's complex ancestry, blending Slavic, Germanic, and minor steppe elements under shifting empires and alliances. Many of these medieval patterns remain detectable in genetic studies of Slovaks today. The genetic story of Slovakia took another dramatic turn during the early modern period, as waves of invasions, wars, and resettlements brought new layers of ancestry to the region. Beginning in the 16th century, the Ottoman Empire expanded into Central Europe, threatening the Kingdom of Hungary and sparking significant population upheaval. Although much of Slovakia avoided direct Ottoman rule, many southern parts of historical Hungary, including modern-day Hungary and parts of Slovakia, experienced Ottoman raids, population displacements, and the flight of refugees. These events disrupted existing communities, and while Ottoman troops and administrators passed through the region, they left little lasting genetic impact on Slovakia compared to the Balkans or Hungary. However, there were some subtle introductions of Balkan ancestry through refugee movements, as people fled from Ottoman-occupied areas further south into Slovak lands. More significantly, 
the Habsburg Empire gradually reasserted control over Slovakia and the surrounding territories. During the Habsburg era, lasting from the late 17th century well into the 19th century, the rulers of the empire actively encouraged migration and resettlement to revitalize depopulated areas. This included settlers from German-speaking regions, particularly in towns and mining areas, as well as migrants from Poland, Czechia, and Romania. Several waves of German-speaking settlers, often referred to as Carpathian Germans, established themselves in towns across Slovakia. Their communities maintained distinct languages and customs for centuries, and although many later assimilated, their genetic traces still remain detectable in Slovak populations today. Additionally, Jewish communities grew during this period, particularly in cities and trade hubs, adding further diversity to the gene pool. Through these centuries of war, migration, and rebuilding, Slovakia's genetic makeup evolved into a unique blend of Slavic, Germanic, Balkan, and Jewish ancestries, layered upon its older Slavic and medieval heritage. The dawn of the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century brought another wave of transformation to Slovakia's population. As industries expanded across Europe, Slovakia's mineral wealth and natural resources drew in new workers, spurring migration both within and beyond its borders. During the late 1800s, towns such as Kasica, Bratislava, and Zelina began to industrialize. This drew Slovak villagers from remote regions into urban areas for factory work and mining. These internal migrations began to break down the strong regional genetic differences that had been preserved by centuries of village isolation and local marriages. Meanwhile, large numbers of Slovaks began to emigrate abroad. Between the late 19th and early 20th centuries, tens of thousands of Slovaks moved to North America, particularly to the United States and Canada, in search of better economic opportunities. Many of these emigrants came from poorer rural backgrounds, and their genetic legacy became woven into the American and Canadian populations, particularly in areas such as Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Illinois. At home, Slovakia also experienced inflows of other ethnic groups during the Austro-Hungarian Empire, including Hungarians, Czechs, Jews, and Roma gypsies, contributing to a complex web of ancestries. By the early 20th century, Slovakia had become an ethnic mosaic with many overlapping cultural and genetic lines. The world wars and the political upheavals of the 20th century reshaped Slovakia again. The Nazi occupation and post-war expulsions led to the forced removal of many Carpathian Germans and Hungarians. After World War II, Slovakia became part of communist Czechoslovakia, where some minority groups were further assimilated or displaced. However, despite these events, many genetic threads remained. Modern genetic studies show that Slovaks today carry significant genetic signals from Slavic ancestors with minor contributions from Germanic, Hungarian, Balkan, and Jewish populations, a testament to the region's long history of migrations and resilience. The Slovak diaspora, those of Slovak heritage living abroad, plays a crucial role in the broader genetic story of the Slovak people. Between the late 19th and mid-20th centuries, it is estimated that over half a million Slovaks emigrated, with many settling in North America, particularly in the United States and Canada. Cities such as Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and Chicago became hubs for Slovak immigrant communities, where cultural traditions were preserved even as genetic mixing with other ethnic groups gradually occurred. In the United States, many Slovak immigrants intermarried with other Eastern European groups, such as Poles, Czechs, Ukrainians, and Hungarians. Over generations, this blending has softened specific Slovak genetic signatures, but modern DNA studies often reveal shared markers that point back to Carpathian and Central European ancestry. Back in Slovakia, genetic research has accelerated in the past two decades. Modern DNA testing highlights that the Slovak population remains predominantly Slavic in its core genetic makeup, closely related to Czechs, Poles, and Ukrainians. However, subtle differences exist among regions, reflecting historical migrations and local patterns of settlement. For example, Western Slovakia shows slightly higher genetic affinity with neighboring Czechs and Austrians, 
while Eastern Slovakia displays stronger ties to Ukrainians, Rusyns, and Poles. In southern regions, particularly along the Hungarian border, there are traces of Magyar, Hungarian, genetic influence. Additionally, the Roma Gypsy population in Slovakia stands out genetically, tracing its roots back to migrations from India centuries ago, with minimal genetic mixing with the wider Slovak population. Through these genetic studies, scientists now recognize Slovakia as a unique genetic crossroads, a country where ancient Slavic roots remain dominant, but where layers of migration, diaspora, and cultural exchange have left subtle, yet meaningful, marks on the national genome. The revelations from genetic studies are prompting many Slovaks to reconsider the very foundations of their identity. While Slovakia has long been associated with its Slavic heritage, modern DNA evidence reveals a more layered, intricate story, one that blends ancient migrations, regional variations, and diaspora connections. At the heart of Slovakia's genetic makeup lies a strong Slavic core, closely tied to neighboring Czech, Polish, and Ukrainian populations. However, the subtle influences from Hungarian, Germanic, and even Celtic ancestors show that Slovakia has always been a meeting point of cultures and peoples. Additionally, the enduring presence of Roma communities adds another dimension to the nation's genetic landscape. For many Slovaks, these discoveries provide a deeper sense of connection, not just to their own country, but to a wider European and global history. The genetic links with the Slovak diaspora abroad further highlight how Slovak identity extends beyond current national borders, preserved through family ties and cultural traditions. Ultimately, DNA is showing that Slovak identity is not fixed or singular. Instead, it is a rich tapestry, woven from ancient migrations, historical empires, and modern connections, that continues to evolve with every generation.